Hello, morning everybody. Sorry a little bit uh, late today. Um, hope you're all okay. Anyway, um, who have we got? Oh, we've got everybody. Hang on, let's go back again. Um, oh, hi Chris, how are you? You okay? Uh, Anna and Shelley and Jenny and Claire and Anne and Sheila and Irene. Hello. Uh, Christine, Sue and Gillian, Patricia. Oh gosh, there's lots of you. Sorry if I miss anybody that I can't keep up with all of this. You're just going right in front of my eyes. Uh, morning, Blodwin, Rosalind, Francis. Hello, who have we got on Facebook? Jackie, Kay, Mandy. Tracy, Sheila, Daryl, Linda, hello, Raina, hello to you, Susan, Anne, oh gosh, oh, we, we're, we're going to do this for an hour again, aren't we? Sue, June, Jan, anyway, um, I've got a few bits to show you, um, I hope you're doing that watching my car, watching from my car on the way to Newcastle for the match later, oh, and enjoy that, Linda, won't you? Uh, Alana, hello, hi, Laura. Yeah, it's not nice weather, is it? Not a bit, it's one of those fine, misty, drizzly kind of days here. Um, hello, Laura. Geraldine, hello. Wet. Geraldine's wet and soggy. Oh, no. Oh, you, did, you never stop missing them, though, do you, Geraldine? Still, still miss all of mine. Doesn't get better. Hello, Hannah J. And um, Andrea, hello. Now, I want to show you... Um, I've got a, a few new fabrics and um, my Easter panel. <laughs> this is so cute so and uh, launching on the website for a change and non creation craft yes and as, I, I just think it's really it's really cute but it's really versatile as well so it has been designed to make napkins and napkin rings I'm going to make up that in just a second um, so that's the idea. You've got four napkins and four napkin rings. So that's as they as they make up, and then you've got the plain fabric on the back. I've just used a spot blender on the back of that, and and with this sort of quite by coincidence, I'm not sure if it works on both of them, um, but when you wrap the ears around it, it it gives it its own little bunny ears look. It gives the bunny its bunny ears. But I'm kind of thinking, if you use those on your own napkins. Then you've got four nice panels there. You could actually put a uh, different fabric on the back and lining and make a bag out of it. Um, I made a little bag with these two, look. But this time I cut the ears in half and just um, put them into the top there and then tied it. So I didn't do the buttonhole on that one. That's just tied in a knot. So it's got little bunny ears like that. And it's a nice little Easter egg basket bag, maybe. But you can make little cushions with them. Um, they're really, really, really useful. Um, versatile, I should say. I don't know about useful, but it's um, very versatile. They are, as they're just, I'm going to say cute a lot. I'm going to say cute a lot. Um, so those are the four pieces and those are the ears. And again, I'll make up the ears um, later on and just show you how, how to do that. So that's, that's that one. Brand new. Brand new only went on yesterday and it's been really busy for it as well, so I'm glad you like it. Um, let's do something a bit different for Easter, isn't it? Or maybe just for spring. There's no eggs on there, are there? No, not, not, not necessarily Easter, so maybe just a spring bunny. Um, Biz says it's really cute. I know, everyone's cute. It just sums it up, doesn't it? It's just cute, 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 cute and sweet. Hello, Helen and Sandra and Jan and Tina. Oh, it's 6 a.m. in Florida, Vero Beach. <gasps> uh, the squares are, sorry, Linda, Linda wants some measuring. Uh, I think it says on the description on the website, but they are nine and three quarter inch, well, actually to be exact, they're nine, and seven eighths square, which in centimeters is twenty-five. Um, so yeah, nice, nice size, nice size. Because you could put a border around them. I'm thinking maybe um, in a pink fabric, or there's so many colors in there. Maybe a lilac, and make and put some, you know, a border around it, and make it bigger if you're making cushion covers and things like that. Helene says cute. Janet says cute. It's cute, just cute. Um, Daryl's just finished making Pip. Oh, the panel will make a lovely bag to put the 
egg and bunny in it. That's a nice idea. If you give Easter gifts and make a really nice gift bag. I was I was going to, I mean, there's so much you can do. I just haven't had time to do it. Um, I was thinking maybe for a drawstring bag, you could put, because um, you wouldn't want to gather that up, would you? Because then you, you'd lose it. But you could put another panel across the top. So that's the bit that gathered. I mean, make a, a quite a nice size bag then. And, and you could even uh, wrap the bunny ears around the top of the bag or maybe sew down the back to the back of the bag and then just wrap them around and that's how you close it. So just just a thought, just a thought. Um, what else have we got? Oh, now then, bits and bobs around me are what's going to be on Crate and Craft tomorrow. Um, they have got them on the Crate and Craft website, but they haven't put them live yet, so you can't buy them till the show. Um, they, they normally do that at about quarter to ten to the hour. The reason being, um, we, we tend to sell out of things before the show and then they've got nothing left. So that's at uh, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, the Bumbles fabric. The, is that the, no, these, these are going on Crate and Craft. I'll show you the panels. Uh, we, we can get them on the website, but it's going to be a couple of weeks. Um, so Crate and Craft have got all of them at the moment. Um, I wonder went to a garage sale of material this month. Nice. Right, so that's that. Let me show you these panels. That was the little bag there. So these are the B ones. And you've got two colour choices. So they're, again, they're quite big. So I've used the... Um, what did I do with that? Just the panel, and then it's got an envelope back. They come with instructions to make the cushion. But, whoops, if I just, I can't reach it. Uh, with the bag on the back, you've got that whole strip of bees across the bottom. So I did, um, I'll show you it tomorrow actually in the show, but I, I, I think I put that on the back of the bag and just put a strip across the back. I'll see if I can reach it in a minute. So that is pink flower, and then that one is, I can't remember what I called it, probably purple flower. I can't remember. Um, but again, that's nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So not on the website at the moment. Might be a while, well, a couple of weeks before we can get any more of these printed. Um, so that's going to be there. So, so Crane Craft, I'm on at nine o'clock with Daisy Lane with the panels. But I'm also presenting at um, seven o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Couldn't remember them for a minute. <laughs> uh, hi, Jane. Um, misty and bright. Yes, yeah, like that here. It's like that here. Love them bees, says Pamela. Oh, a tea cosy with the bunny panel. That's a nice idea, Karen. Any more liberty? Uh, we will have some more, Deirdre. I'm not sure when they're going to arrive, but we do have quite a few on order. And they're going to be the latest Liberty Rangers from what I hear as well. So just waiting for them to come in. So go on the waiting list and you'll get your email as soon as we get them. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Jennifer's a bit soggy as well, I think. Hi, Sarah and Steph. Um, now, the other panels that we have, and again, these are all all going on Crate and Craft. We will so say a couple of weeks before we can get any more of these in. Um, this is the storage baskets panel. So that's what you get. I think they've got them on at £22.99, I think. Um, so it's like a one-handled storage basket. So you've got the outer fabric, the lining, that's the base. These are extra just to fill the space up. And the rectangle bit, um, I made a pin cushion out of that. So I actually use those two, I know it's upside down, to make a pin cushion. And then you've got a spare, spare that. You can make a needle case. You've got a little bit of a plique on there as well. And do take a pattern off them if you're going to buy them because then you can use that for, um, for other projects as well. And this is the, the circle pouches at the top. It's a bit bigger, this one. And there you go. You get, you get ink on the side of that one. 
to chop that off. Um, you get all of the circles. They do come with the, in the instructions as well. So there's the circles for the outer in three different sizes, and then you've got the lining there as well. So Julie, now these are on Create and Craft tomorrow at nine o'clock. So we don't have any on the website at the moment. They're panels, it's not fabric, it's panel. Um, but we don't have them on the website at the moment. They're just gonna be on Create and Craft. But we will get some more printed, I'm sure. Um, and then Japanese knot bags. These again, just on Create and Craft at the moment. So these are really big panels and your full instructions to make those as well. So that's the iris and the other one is, I think I just called it pink flowers because I didn't know what they were. Maybe you recognize them. And this one's got a stripe to it and they're reversible. So that's that one. And if I get time in the show tomorrow, I'll show you how to put the handles together. Um, not, not difficult when you know how, but they do come with full instructions as well. So that's Create and Craft tomorrow, nine o'clock. Come and drop us an email. You don't, I mean, come along and watch by all means. You don't have to, don't have to buy, but it'd be nice to have um, a wine gift bag, but shorter and fatter. Yes, it is Yvonne, yes. Uh, Sandra's got a book this morning, lovely. Vera loves the panels. Uh, oh, well done, Mel. Mel's, Mel's got a deal on a car insurance, so she's got more money to spend on fabric. She said that, that's not, that's not me. <laughs> um, Steph's in a PJs. It's quarter past 11, Steph, what are you playing at? What are you playing at? Uh, morning, Emery, and long time for Susan Collins watching from our house this morning and checking out your new things. Oh, thank you, Susan. Uh, hello, Viv. Caught me live for once, she says. We've got some batiks on the website. Um, sorry, Kim's just put in new fabrics on there as well. I'm not sure if she's managed to get them on yet, but she normally sends me a text when she has. <laughs> Um, these have been on the website for a week or so, but you haven't seen them live, so I just thought I'd show you. We sell out of this so quickly. So we've got three. We've still got some of the ones I showed you last week with the elephants and the fish and the flowers. Um, but these are three newer ones. And the beauty of these, it's not just the way that they feel, is that they're, they're double-sided. There's no right and wrong side to a boutique. And there we go. So I can't remember what they're called, but if you go to new arrivals on the website, you'll, you'll see them all there. That's pretty, isn't it? And then we've got the but blue butterflies as well. The books are all on the way, Blodwin. Every, all of the books have gone. Um, I know we've been, there were hundreds, hundreds you can imagine, um, and it does slow them down at the post office a bit. So when your orders are completed, um, over £25 goes um, goes with FedEx, so you know exa exactly when those are arriving because they're tracked. Um, under £25, so if you just ordered a book, it goes uh, with Royal Mail, but we take to the post office. Had a bit of an issue with Royal Mail. Hmm. That's another story. Um, so we take them to the post office, so the post office have to process them and then send them to Royal Mail. So. If they've got hundreds and they're having a busy day, sometimes it gets delayed a little bit at the post office. So um, I, I did take, well, Gary did take hundreds of books in. <laughs> so they're probably still working through them. Oh, Alana got hers today. Oh, good. Oh, good. Julie's waiting for hers as well. So yeah, hope, hopefully. Um, hopefully they won't be too long. They're all, they're all on their way anyway. Um, let's see if she's managed to pop these on. And then we'll make some bunny ears, I reckon. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want the shop. So, and the new arrivals. And. Oh, oh, we've got the zips on. She's busy. Oh, we've got some, oh, new needles. We've got no, new chalks. Oh, we've got, we've got a June Taylor squared straight on the inch ruler. I'm gonna have a play with that later. And then zippy-doo-done pre-sewn zips. We've got some of those in as well. 
Look at these. Fabulous idea. Um, have a look on YouTube and places like that because there's some, some really nice ideas with them. But basically, you've got a zip that's already got the fabric sewn to it. So your fabric, your bag fabric, just goes in the middle, don't you? So over it. Um, Kim was saying this morning she'd seen somewhere they'd used embroidery stitches on the sewing machine and um, kind of embroidered down the side there. But yeah, so it's a really nice idea. They are 18 inches long. Of course, you can cut them down. I think you can cut them down. Not used one yet. Oh, we're going to be doing a workshop using these, actually, with Susie Duncan. Um, but yeah, so your fabric goes in between those two pieces there. So if you've ever been worried about fitting a zip, you're not actually fitting the zip, you're fitting a piece of fabric. Genius idea, I think. Um, oh, Leslie's birthday on Monday and she's just had some roses. Oh, happy, happy birthday for Monday. Um, hi, Dawn. Oh, I'm talking to Carol. Um, on Saturday, she'll get excited waiting for to start. Yeah, it would have been my mum's birthday yesterday. She would have been 102. She'd have hated that. Um, Mary's got her book, lovely. <gasps> yeah, Christy, we've got a bit carried away with the pink packaging on some of those, yes. Um, got my book, oh yeah, okay, Patrice has got hers, lovely. What we also have, I don't know if you saw any of um, Seamless Sunday and they were, they got a special offer on the sew line scissors and I'd not, I hadn't actually used them before um, and I didn't know what all the fuss was about but we had Natasha gushing about them and um, oh, who, who was the other lady that we had on? Oh, Nicola. Uh, we're, we're just, oh, you've got to try these scissors, oh, they're amazing and all that kind of stuff. So I bought myself some. And you know, they're fabulous. They're, they're quite expensive. But when you look at the technology, the Japanese, um, and it's something to do with the technology of the, uh, the materials that are used for the blades, they're left or right-handed. And they're just really lovely scissors to use. So you've got a little finger rest on there as well. But if you wanted a you know, pair of scissors that's just gonna last you forever, then these are just, I, what I love, sharp to the point, sharp to the point, so you make tiny little snips with them. But there's, oh, you, you've got to try them. You've got to try them to appreciate it. Um, but I did I did honestly think when they were, oh, you've got to try those scissors, oh, they're amazing scissors, oh, I've got the big ones, oh, I've got the small ones. Um, I did think that's, um, they're a pair of scissors, for goodness sake. But when you try them, they are pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, Debbie's watching from Cherokee, NC, what's that, where's, where's NC? North Carolina, oh, um, and then Belinda's in South Africa, so it's very hot over there. If you cut the zip in half to form two nine inch zips, you can attach another slider to the second part. I don't know, Sandra, I've never used them before, I don't know. Looks like number three size. Don't know. Maybe try attaching a zipper, uh, a zip pull, before you cut it, just in case. But no, I don't. I don't know that one. Does anybody else know? Anybody else use them? Um, they're fifty odd pounds, Bloodwind. They are. They are quite expensive, but they're fifty-five ninety-nine. But they're lovely. They're really lovely scissors, and they come in a gift box as well. Not that you'd want to give them away anywhere. Um, cut ease for the for right-handed or left-handed. Soft grip. They've got the technology of Japanese seki master craftsmanship. I think there's a bit on the website about them. Um, Oh, here you go, look. The stainless steel alloy of the scissor blades is hardened and tempered to retain fine cutting edge over years of correct use. Clean regularly with cloth. Cover the, oh, you do get a blade protector in there as well. They're ever so sharp, ever so sharp. Yeah, anyway, that's those. 
oh Bernadette's off to Kenya tomorrow it's 33 degrees she's 30 degrees 33 degrees there yeah oh yeah it's damp incumbent all though says Irene um where I can buy these scissors in the UK yes they're on my website Mary <laughs> Debbie Shaw sewing dot com um they come with plaster they probably yeah they they are very sharp <laughs> got a birthday soon nice right okay that's those oh what, what we've also got now this is i need to have a play with this I'm, i've got one somewhere that's out of the packet um because i was given one but i haven't had a chance to play with it yet and um, these again when i when i first saw it I thought, oh, that's a bit of wood that's a bit of wood um but I don't know what it is maybe it's the the actual wood that it's made out of i mean let me know these are obviously popular um but for pressing seams amazing um these are recommended by susie duncan As gushing she was gushing over them and the other thing that you can do with this is warm it on your iron and and then press your seams apparently but yeah, i need to have a play with those but if you've seen them before we've got them on the website now and we've got quite a good price on those as well um renewed my membership oh thank you elizabeth Renew renewed a membership for the half year club this week happy to be a member oh, oh jolly good <gasps> should we do a bit of sewing i'll let you know when those those fabrics go on if she if she puts them on but do keep oh there we are they're here they're just going on now um so i love this love this one is it, are they fireflies? <gasps> Moonbe oh, they're moths. They're pretty for moths. Um, this is um, Poppy Cotton, Moonbeam Dreams. And we've got three, oh no, are they two? I'm not sure if it's a collection. These are the two that she's put on already. So brand new, hot off the press, literally just gone on. So Moonbeam Dreams, Nocturnal Nights. And then Moonbeam Dreams Moth Green. I love that one. I love the colours of it. That's a really really nice colour, isn't it? Really good green. A mossy, mossy kind of colour. Um, and then we've got another one going on. I'll show you that later because she hasn't quite put it on yet. But those are lovely. I do like those. The quality as well. It's, it's, it, it almost feels brushed. So, yeah, they're really, really soft, really lovely quality. If you're making a quilt or something to wear, that would be amazing. If you wanted something cuddly. Right, should we make these bunny ears then? Um, oh, Irene's still in bed. Honestly, Irene. So these are they, if you just joined us. Little napkins and bunny ears from the new panels that we've got on the website. Um, that, no, they're not, not my designs this time, Sally. I haven't, had, haven't really had the time um, at the moment. Um, so, no. I wish they were. Right. So I've used G700 interfacing on the wrong side of these because I wanted them to be quite firm so they stand up. So it's a, it's a good way of interfacing. So it's still going to be easy to turn through. Uh, oh, I should have brought my knitting needle down to do that. Might take a while to do that then. Forgot my knitting needle. Um, and we'll need to make a buttonhole in there as well. So that, that, that was so quick and easy, really. Now, if you're going to use these as a bag handle, then just don't, don't do the buttonhole. Um, but if you're making the, the rabbit ears as they are designed to, then that's what we're going to do. Right, so first up, we're going to right sides together and sew all around the edge. So I'll pop a few pins in there and like so. And we're going to sew all the way around the edge and leave a turning gap in one side. And use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So I'll start off with the turning gap and then just sew all around.
and then I'm just going to snip into the little V shape here so that'll stop the, the seam from puckering when I turn it the right side out. Like so. And then out come the pins. And then this might take me a little while because <laughs> I don't have anything to turn this through. Um, let's just, actually I've got some tweezers knocking around, they might help. Um, so yeah, we just, let's see if we can do it this way. I've got a turning tool down in the, in the house as well. I was, do you know when you wake up at three o'clock in the morning you think of things that you need to do? That was what I was thinking. I need to get that turning tool and just see if that works. Right, let's push that through there. Ah, ha ha, see that works, she says. Go and make yourself a cup of tea if you like while I just do this. Might it might take me a while. Um... Oh, Rosalind's got to go. See you later. <laughs> Coffee and knitting needles. Coffee, knitting needles, <laughs> chopstick. Sounds like a good afternoon. <laughs> I don't know where my mat is. It's under your iron. No, that's not, oh, thank you. That's not the right one. Thank you. Glad, glad you listen. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, ladies. And gents. And gents. Knitting needle. Taking your orders. <laughs> <laughs> he is, isn't he? He is great, isn't he, Blodwin? You've got your tea, please, for uh, for Christine. So if you come to one of the uh, the workshops, it'll it'll make you tea all day. Um. I just, oh, I love it when you talk to each other. It's, we're, we're quite a social place, aren't we? On these um, social media platforms. Uh, my grandson just said, is Debbie Shaw real? Oh, <laughs> I was uh, editing um, a video the other day when my grandson was over his three. Um, so I had him sat on my knee with Paw Patrol on the TV while I was while I was editing and he kept looking at the screen just going that's grandma that's grandma that's grandma um, and even when it was like a close-up of my hands I was getting that's grandma's hands he was fascinated grandma on TV <laughs> oh right so let's try let's try knitting needle might be quicker um, he is a lovely bloke so here's a keeper. Bought an overlock and side cutter from a single machine, great little gadget. Oh, I've not tried one of those, Laura. I'm sure I'm just making this look a lot more difficult than it is. If you've got any tips on easy turning for tubes, then do let me know. It always takes longer when you're being watched, doesn't it? Um, See if I'd have a thought about it, I could have had one prepped and then just said, and this is what it looks like when it's turned through, then you wouldn't have to sit and watch me do this, would you? Still, it's nice you're chatting amongst yourself. <laughs> I think one of these days when, when I'm I'm not here, like last last week when I couldn't um do the live. I'm just going to leave you live and, and go and get some work done. Just let you chat amongst yourselves. I think that'd work. Pro probably probably be busier than watching me do this. Wouldn't it? Um, a Blue Peter method, absolutely. There we go. And then we'll press it. I'll just switch my iron on. Uh, when the grandchildren have subscribers on social media, they're going to be very impressed and proud of Grandma. I reckon. <laughs> uh, demo iris folding. 
iris folding but there's an iris folded um project on the half yard club i don't know if it's still on there a tea cozy in fact it was a oh excuse me while well, a limbo back here um reverse applique i think from what i remember uh right I am also going to give that a little squirt of best price because it's very creased now. If I don't get it in my coffee. All right. I wouldn't use anything heavier than um, a G700 for this one, it, but it's it's quite a nice weight. I used it for the little bag as well, but for the napkins, don't need any interfacing on that at all. If it's napkins that you're going to make with them. All right, let's give this a press. I think I might recover my ironing, ironing mat. I'm starting to get a bit tatty there, I think. All right, so let's press that flat. And on that side. There we go. And then I'm going to top stitch all the way around the edge. So if you sew it really close to the edge, that's going to close the turning gap while we're there as well. Is that a bit bright? Um, if you do recover your mic, could you please show us? Oh, okay. Um, I did make that in a live stream on the 2nd of January, 2022, I think. But we can, we can revisit that, because I wouldn't mind making a smaller one, actually. That one does get... It's nice to have a, a big mug, because they're bigger than the ones that you buy normally. Um, so I wouldn't mind making a smaller one, so that's maybe something we could do on a Wednesday, one day. What do you reckon? Nice, Alon. It'd be nice to meet you. We do still have places on, on Gina's workshop, but they are going quite quickly. So we've got some more workshops coming up as well. Um, so I've got some more dates booked in with Susie, and um, I am I'm in ne negotiations with Tilly. Tilly Rose. We're going to do another slow stitching day, and. This time we're talking about doing a, um, a journal cover, which I think would be a really nice idea. The cute little bags are the panels that are going on Create and Craft tomorrow morning. So look out, Deirdre, at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Steph's making sock monkeys. <laughs> right. So I've sewn all the way around the edge. And then we need to make a buttonhole. So my buttonhole foot is quite fancy. So what I'm going to do is to measure the size of that gap. You know, we've got these buttonhole gauges on the back of a lot of these um, buttonhole feet. So I'm just going to gauge that so it's the same size as the, as the dash mark there. That doesn't have to be exact, but around about the same size would be rather nice. So let's pop this on to my machine, plug that in, choose my stitch, um, so one, two, three, buttonholes, OK, and number two. There we go. Right. So buttonholes normally start at the bottom and work backwards. So I might get my head in the shot, so do excuse me. But I'm just lining up the end of that dashed line um, with the end of my buttonhole foot. And then also.
I want to see mine's a little bit bigger than the dash line, but that's absolutely fine. Doesn't it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be exact. Almost there. Oh, it's very thorough this one, it just goes backwards and forwards a lot. Snip that off. So nice little neat buttonhole. And then let's snip down the centre. This is why you need sharp scissors, look. Snip down the centre. Like so. And then one end threads through there. Just open that out flat. And there's your little bunny ears. Cute. So should we make up a napkin while we're here anyway? So let me just drop that off and pop that one back on and I'm just going to switch my machine off and on again to get back to my straight stitch. Sue says I will be renewing my Half Yard Club membership soon, it's brilliant. I love uh, being on your book review, but oh you're on the book review panel, oh, I hope you say nice things. <laughs> right, so with the just putting everything back in there so I don't lose it. I'll need to iron this. Um, what have I done with that? Well, if I don't know. I can almost hear Gary rummaging around trying to find a rabbit panel with a piece of white fabric with it. I'm just going to look in that, so just a chat amongst yourself. Just going to look in the bag down here that I brought everything down in and see if I left it in there. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> so organized, so organized. Right, so I'm just gonna give this a quick press. This is ever so easy, couldn't be easier. So a really nice um, beginner project. So all I've done is cut out a piece of fabric to the same size as the panel on the front. That will do. And also these two pieces right sides together, shan't pin this one with a turning gap in the bottom quarter of an inch seam allowance and we'll sew the way around. <laughs> Claire has unintentionally thrown her mini iron across the floor and it still works. <laughs> I've, I've dropped um, I've dropped those irons so many times I'm not, I'm not recommending that you do but they um, they're survivors, aren't they? Really hardy. So, I mean, literally, sewing around all four sides, leave a turning gap, turn it the right side out. That's all there is to this. It's ever so easy. And you've got a little napkin. But again, the panels, you can make pouches and bags and cushion covers or stick them in a frame, put them on the wall, make nice pictures. Right, so that's that turning up there. Alison, I have a Juki DX7 sewing machine. Snip across the corners and I love it. I am a huge Juki fan. A recent convert, have to say. But yeah, really, really pleased with them. And then we'll just turn this the right side out, which should be a, a darn sight quicker than the ears were. Mm. Blodgen says she's dropped hers too. Yeah. Uh, does it make much difference which foot you use? It really depends what you're making. It can make a big difference, Anna. 
um, I know you can do buttonholes without a buttonhole foot, but I found it a lot easier to use a buttonhole foot. Um, but the ones that I'm in a zipper foot is, is really useful. Um, whoops, what are, the, what, are the, what are the feet wouldn't I be without? Blind hem foot, difficult to do a blind hem without a blind hem foot. And a walking foot, really useful if you're sewing through lots of layers of fabric. What about you? What what foot can't you live without besides, of course, the standard foot that's on your sewing machine? Or what what foot have you bought that you thought, oh, that's glad I bought that. That's useful. You have to find search. For, oh, sorry. Is that talking to each other? Um, did you get a chance to look at blocking that? I haven't yet, Laura. No, it's probably going to be next week. I've been um, busy with Crate and Craft this week, but I will have a look at it. I, I might have got a bit carried away with the editing on that one. <laughs> so if anything, if, I, if I've got time, I'll try and refilm another video, but it takes, takes a while. The ones on the end of my old... <laughs> Rosemary's most useful feet are the ones on the end of her legs. <laughs> Nolan says, a walking foot. Mel's zipper foot is rubbish. Oh, quarter of an inch foot, that's a good one. On my, um, my other duke that I use most of the time, um, it's kind of got a built-in quarter of an inch foot, is the, the standard one, and I, I do like that. Oh, yeah, Alan's got a ruffler foot. Never got on with mine, Alan, I never used it again. Concealed zipper foot, oh, yes. That's another, see, you need all these feet. What was the other one? And your walking foot, says Susan. I'm just sewing all around the edge and that's going to close the opening while I'm doing that as well. Um, Vera's walking foot is fitted. Mel, open-toed foot. Straight stitch foot. Stops your fabric getting pulled into the feed dogs. Absolutely. Shaking things off the table now. Um, short video on Facebook showing how to use some of the most common feet oh okay um, yeah because a, a lot of the time the feet don't come with instructions do they so if you can find a video explaining i think is a, a jolly good idea jolly good this is almost done just come off the end there a bit um, mary's a quilter so she uses a quarter inch foot a lot Right, so that's that. <clears throat> Let's see this is how this fares with the bunny ears. So I'm just going to fold that to the centre, fold that in, into thirds, that'll do. And then let's wrap this around. It wasn't designed specifically to put the ears onto the rabbit, but I do think that looks funny. Let's do the same with the other one. So we've got two designs of rabbits on this one. And they, they both look really silly with their, with their rabbit ears on. <laughs> but if you are having, you know, any kind of Easter celebrations or Sunday dinner with the family over, wouldn't they look so cute around the table? Um, but again, with, with the panel, if you <laughs> um, if you wanted to use your own napkins and use these as gift bags or pouches, then I think that, that would work really well as well. Um, oh, Susan's Overcast foot, that's one. Uh, so does honest reviews, but your books are fabulous. So what else can I say? I have your journal and gave a great review because it's just that great. Oh, thank you, Sue. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, oh, hi, Carol. Made it now. The um, These are from the, the rabbits panel that I've put down somewhere. I was going to show you again. But I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, limbo. There we go. That's the panel. It's quite big but again we made the ears we've made the napkin but if you wanted to use those for cushions and bags and things like that I think that would be rather sweet as well 
I'm glad you like them, Bloodwind. They're a little bit different, aren't they? I've not actually seen anything like this before, so it's nice to have something that's a little bit unusual. But remember, if you wanted to use those to make pouches, this one I showed you earlier on, I cut the ears in half and just made a tie to go across the top. Um, so you could make little bags and pouches with them, maybe for an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Cute again, says Vera. Yes. Oh, Irene uses free motion foot a lot. Doing a bit of free motion yesterday. Um, for my next book, my next book is, uh, I don't know when it's out, it won't be till later on in the year, but it's a collaboration. So I've written a book with my friend Melissa um, and it's it's quilt. Um, really excited about one. Um, the B is a panel. Um, put it down over there. Uh, collect, they're on Create and Craft tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. So if you have a look on the Create and Craft website, they're on there. You just can't order them yet. Um, it, it comes up with an error when you try and put it in the basket and that's because they haven't actually activated the products and they'll probably do that just before the show tomorrow. Um, I was saying earlier, so it said that we don't sell out. I'm just seeing if that extra fabric's on there yet. Um, so we don't sell out before the show because then we've got nothing to talk about. So I shall be, oh, here we go. I should be with um, Paula at nine, but I've got three shows presenting at seven. Oh, I've got the cover stitch machine. It's a one day special. So I should be with George for that one at 10 o'clock and two o'clock. This is the other fabric panel that has just gone on the website. It's a board of fabric. It's not a panel, it's fabric but it's got a border print. So that's how it comes off the bolt. But I think that's how I'd use it. Isn't that lovely? So of course, if you're going to order more than one, it comes in one piece. So that's your half metre length. If you ordered one unit, that's what you get. It's 144 centimetres wide or, or uh, 112 centimetres wide or 44 inches and your price will be by the half metre. But if you wanted to make a border of that, or oh, what a lovely cushion cover that would make. Or the bottom of a skirt. Fabulous bag, wouldn't it? Then that's what that looks like. So that, that's, that's your final new today. Hmm. It's a pleasure, Jean, as she like. She says she liked the demo. Oh, thank you for the demo. Um, so I'm just making sure I haven't missed anybody here. Could write a book called How to Sew and Keep Your Coffee Warm. <laughs> I need to work out, Kaz, how to sew and keep my coffee warm, though, because mine's over here going cold. I can tell it's going cold because it's evaporating down the mug. Um, white gecko items are always popular. Yeah, I, 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 and I really like Sarah as well. She's really talented, and they always have something a little bit different on there. So that's at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, White Gecko. Um, no, it's only... I'm sure it's only half a metre. Maybe I was a little bit generous when I cut that one. Let me measure it. I did have a tape measure here earlier on. But I don't know what I've done with that. It's by the half metre anyway. However big that is. I can't even see my ruler. What have I done with that? Do you know, I don't go anywhere. I don't move. You can probably see that at home better than I can. I don't do anything and I lose things. Oh, it's on the floor down there. Can't reach it. It will be half a metre that you get. <laughs> um, a USB cup warmer. Really? I've not heard. A USB cup warmer? Oh, Gary, if you go on Amazon, see if you can get me a USB cup warmer. I like that idea. Alan's going to email the studio tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Alan. Um, Claire's Half Yard Club is due on the 20th, third year for me. Thank you, Claire. We've had a lot of the, that have been there um, right from uh, the beginning as well. Very, very grateful. Keeps us going. Uh, with old machine, I only use the one I have to do. Oh, birthday gift to herself for Anna is the Juki DX7. We've got them on the website. Um, cup warmers that plug into the mains of there. I didn't know. Mm, didn't know you could do that. See, I didn't know you could, you could get cup warmers that plugged into the mains. Genius idea. 
Uh, Linda's got a cup warmer. Wow. Every day's a school day, as they say. Um, yeah, blood, blood. We need a we need a cup warmer. Blood wrench. I can't can't count the amount of cold coffee I pour down the sink. <laughs> right. Anyway, need to pop off. Um, oh, Shelley's renewing a membership as well this month. Oh, thank you, Shelley. I shall show you um, your next project. Did I show you the bike? I think I did. I made another one now, anyway. Um, the, the sling bag, which is going to be next month's project. The panels will be on our website, Sue, but it's going to take a couple of weeks to get more printers. So at the moment, Crate and Craft has taken all the stock we've got. Um, so yeah, we'll try, and, we'll try and get them on there. Um, is it translation? Oh, try, I'm trying to trans translate you, Shaza. Naughty Debbie. What am I naughty? If I can get Henry Hoover fabric. I, d I don't know. I don't know. I shall ask my daughter. Um, right. I've just, I've just hidden YouTube. There we go. Uh, show us a sling bag. I will, Carol. I haven't got it here. I shall show you again on Wednesday if that's okay. Um, right. I better go. Things to do. Work to do. Prep to do. Pictures to take. So I shall see you again on Wednesday. So do join me if you can tomorrow on Crate and Craft. Be nice to have your company there. Um, it's a long old day but enjoyable, have to say, and um, otherwise I shall see you on, on Wednesday at, uh, at four o'clock. So thanks to your company today. I hope, hope you like those. I think they're really sweet. Um, so yeah, and I shall see you again either tomorrow or I shall see you Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.